It is the people who make military relationships strong. Gail McCabe takes us to Kenya where medical research is the foundation of a healthy partnership. It's challenging, a professional challenge, but the ramifications are, are both you know, personally rewarding as well as professionally rewarding. Major Mike Walter is a clinical laboratory officer, currently working as the chief of staff at U.S. Army Medical Research Unit Kenya, better known as USAMRUKE. USAMRUKE is a Walter Reed project, a partnership between the U.S. Army Medical Department and the government of Kenya's Medical Research Institute. If there is a common denominator throughout Africa, it is disease. Here in East Africa, USAMRUKE has been helping combat disease for the last 40 years. To date, their efforts have been instrumental in fighting STDs, TB, malaria, and AIDS. I'm where I want to be, doing what I want to do. Dr. Doug Schaefer is a specialist in internal medicine. Schaefer heads the U.S. military HIV research program in Caricho. I think the struggle in part is just the, the, the magnitude and, and the depth and the breadth of the HIV epidemic. The challenge is to continue to try to stay one step ahead. Caricho, before the military came here, didn't have anything in terms of HIV care and treatment. Dr. Fred Sowie says for the two and a half million people who live in Caricho, the presence of the U.S. military is life-altering. The work at USAM Rique revolves around clinical studies conducted at a College of American Pathologist lab, one of two in Africa. This particular slide that we are looking at uh, we noted from our cult account. Dr. Peter Cabet is part of USAM Rique's big picture. He's one of approximately 100 Kenyans who help with the comprehensive clinical research. It makes me not just feel good, I think uh, it makes all of us feel we are making a big difference. We have a, a great opportunity to have an impact here, and I think it's good for our country uh, to be a part of this. Gil McCabe, Kenya.